going on everybody? Kenan here hanging out. That's the one, the only Fred Grunwald's Crocodile Kyle, uh, Crocodile Corner. I almost called you Crocodile Kyle. Crazy man, what are we feeding here today? We got I some. Yeah, uh, uh, we got a water monster. Oh. Not very tame. He's a rescue and uh Where did he come from? Ah, uh, he came from uh somebody that bought him at a reptile um convention and um uh, Decided that it was way too mean and wild for them to cheat, and they just wanted to part ways with it. Man, so I haven't had the time to really tame it down, but it's getting there. It's getting there, and um, really beautiful animal. But uh, water monitors are not for everybody. Definitely not, man. You guys know when you've seen Slinky and Kyle's new big guy. I don't know what we're calling him, Goliath maybe? I have no idea. But here's the reason we're here today for the video. We are going to feed the world's smallest crocodilians. Yeah. We're talking about dwarf caimans. Uh, even though there is a spectacle of caiman in here, we always see the largest crocodilians, but we're gonna look at some of these smaller ones right here. And um, well, just because they're small, doesn't mean that they aren't ornery yeah, yeah. because of their reduced oblongata, their medulla oblongata. There it is, smooth front. Look at this. Here, here. So cool. Here. Oh my god, let's hope he doesn't get the camera. Here, here, here. That is awesome, man. Here. Beautiful. So what do you feed him? Just some fish? Uh, he's eating venison right now oh, wow. and trout trout. Here, here, here. Jeez, that is so cool. Now the dwarf caiman guys, actually this dwarf caiman used to belong to yours truly. Uh, I got this animal a long time ago. Uh, look at it, there's some crotch out. I got this animal a long time ago, and then it went to Gatorama, and then Fred got it back. Now, this is Paleosuchus palpabrosus, palper, correct? That's right. All right, so this is definitely a dwarf caiman. Um, and these, if you'll notice, I mean, when you look at the dwarf caimans, you can see that they are so heavily armored, and that's what makes them a species of least concern. In other words, these animals really aren't as threatened as some of the larger species of crocodilian because their, their skin is covered with osteoderms. Um, they are just armored beasts. But uh, right now he's not, he's not going after anything. What are you barking at? Quiet down. You're ruining the video. Just kidding, you're not ruining the video. But that dog is, is deaf, by the way. <laughs> Isn't that a bluey, right? It's, a, it's an Australian, uh, Australian dog, I love them. But uh, unfortunately, he's deaf. So anyway, we're gonna get a little, I wanna be careful with the camera because he will totally nail this camera. But um, I love this animal. I had named this animal Lucifer uh, because of its disposition. Not a very friendly critter. But guys, this is how these guys live. Um, they like small pools. Oh, look at that, as soon as I backed away. He went for it. Man, I got up too quick, I got busy. But how cool is that guy? Look at him, he's gonna try and eat that croc chow. Oh, he's a vegetarian, it looks like. Hey. Here, here. Such cool crocodilians. Oh man, so fast. So these guys will just hang out in forest pools. They're also very terrestrial, very similar in behavior to the good old dwarf crocodile where they're actually a forest species of crocodilian. They live in the jungles. They live in these small pools, which is why they're so small. They don't need to get big. And they kind of walk around land quite often. They'll look for crustaceans, small mammals, small lizards, other reptiles, and they'll gobble them up. And uh, well, that's how they've been doing it for millions of years, but they're really cool, man. Definitely some of the more terrestrial crocodilians out there. All right, there's a speck right there too, by the way. See the spectacles looking for some food there. Let's see if you can get that. Oh, nope, well, nope, nope, he got it. Sorry, buddy. Well, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Lucifer, you get the croc chow. Congratulations. What else do we got to do there, Fred? We got oh, some more feed? We got feed? some even smaller caiman. All right, cool. Need to be fed, so we're gonna grab them. Let's do it. Let grab their, uh, oh, their he's got food some here. food. What are you feeding them? Chopped meat or venison? Yeah, some chopped venison. And mix them in another hot cap. Cool. So, I thought this would be a fun little bonus video because, like I said, man, we always see some of the bigger species of crocodilian. Um, but let's learn a little bit about the small ones. Stop quickly and give this guy something. He probably won't come out while we're standing here. So, so you just throw some out there. Out there. But 
Um, he's actually kind of hiding out in here, guys, and he's extremely shy. So I don't think it's going to work. We're going to move along, and this is kind of cool. So caiman are a South American species, or family, rather, of crocodilians, and they are closely related to alligators. I you might probably do Stand better over there. than you might either there or there. Okay. But I'll go over here. Be able to see me, really. So check this out. Up oh, and there goes lunatic. All right, so he's going to call these crocodilians over to him. But these are small. And what's cool about this enclosure, guys? It's kind of a South American enclosure. Because he's got South American turtles yeah. like the Unifilis yeah. right yeah. there. Yeah. Here comes right. Here comes a little caiman. Now, are these spectacled caiman? We have two spikes in here and two smooth tracks. Oh, is that a smooth front? That's a smooth front right here. <laughs> Let's see if I can zoom in there, fellas. Here People. Comes this back right here. <laughs> wow. Gosh. Look at these cute little dudes. And there are two more in here somewhere. There they are. Yeah, they're just so little, Fred. Yeah, these are um, about going on three, actually. Um, they were slow growing until I put them outside, and then they took off. So you've literally got a speck on the right, and we've got on the left another one of the dwarf caiman, smooth fronts. Right. And yeah, what do you got there? Up here. <laughs> <laughs> Loggerhead mustard. Logger turtle. That's so cool, man. This is awesome. Just a really good time. I'm actually gonna come on in now. Oh, look at this, guys. Little uh, rhino clummies, where is it, where is it? Oh no. Boy, is my, my little camera work is not very well today. There it is. There he is, little rhino clummies right there, everybody. See that? All right, I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna get some shots of these guys. This is what happens when you get fancy, everybody. I am not a camera person, so Tom is probably going to be freaking out uh, having to edit this. But I'm going to sneak over here and see if these guys won't mind tolerating me walking out. I want to get you guys some better shots. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at this, guys. Just such a beautiful crocodilian. I love Dwarf caiman. So amazing. And there he goes. Let's get one parting shot of that beautiful caiman. But we want to focus in. Wow! There he goes. He's gone. He's out of here. All right, everyone. This is Kenan. And uh, we had a good time. But you know what? I'm not leaving yet. I just got an idea. We just saw the small ones. My whole outro. I'm, I'm, I'm not, we're not leaving yet, because there's one more thing I want to show you guys. All right, so we got some small crocodilians. My buddy Fred, the best, always helping me out with some fun video content. But how about we say hello to just a couple of the big critters that are hanging out here in Fred's backyard. Big old American alligator. This guy's name is what? Snaggletooth. There he is, Snaggletooth. You can see why right there. All right, so that's Snaggletooth. And, uh, these are some of the first crocs that I ever had the chance of meeting when I moved to Florida because Fred was one of my first buddies. There's a nice old Nile crocodile right there. Beauty right there. I've helped him kind of clean out the, the weeds and stuff in that enclosure. Too much fun over here, man. So we got Niles. We walk down here. This is why it's called Crocodile Corner, everybody, because there's crocodiles at every corner. How about an American crocodile, a female, She's just right here. Beautiful. So if you guys have been uh, watching the channel for a long time, you know Fred, he's one of our regulars. And how about Crocodilus porosus, the saltwater crocodile, right there in South Florida. All right, I just wanted to leave you guys with a few more exciting reptiles. Thanks again to Fred, everybody that helps out. Uh, don't forget to, uh, don't forget to go to Camp Cannon at patreon.com or is that patreon.com slash camp cannon help support the videos hit like and subscribe and i'll see you guys again real soon on another video